Nikon has just announced a new retro style version of its uh, Z 40mm f 2.0 lens and another option in the Z FC camera line. The lens and camera share the same specs as their pedestrian <laughs> parents, or maybe this, or at least its design, is the elder. It will weigh in at um, 170 grams. For sure, it aspires to look like the vintage lenses of yore. In fact, Nikon's promo material boasts an iconic design mimicking the look of the lenses once used on Nikon's classic FM cameras. And lest we forget those who served and sacrificed so we might prosper. And lest we forget the horrors of war and the divisions that feed it. And incidentally, though I'm not <laughs> in the least trying to compare the minor inconveniences I suffer in my relatively comfortable life, but thank goodness it's all quiet on the Western Front today, due to Remembrance Day, because this studio has been unusable in the daytime due to nearby blasting and associated industrial traffic. It's made this place like living in a war zone lately, the house shaking noise level anyway. Hi, Ray here. I'm glad you could join me. I just happen to have one of Nikon's classic FM cameras, the original FM, in fact, released in 1977. Fitted with the lens, the Series E, 50 millimeter 1.8 that I think this latest 40 millimeter is based on. I owned both of these beginning in around 1980 and I found this pair, camera and lens, at a shop in Quebec a couple of years ago. I'll link my FM unboxing and review of sorts at the, yeah, at the end of the video. This new full-frame lens adopts the checked knurling, silver band, and general appearance of the vintage lenses. It even has the retro Nikkor logo and typeface. At the same time, they've announced a new black version of the ZFC, APS-C DX camera, and this joins the six other colored skins you can choose for the ZFC. Again, this camera, I knew it as soon as I saw it, was obviously designed to recall the look of the old FM cameras. And I'd say they got it right for the most part. They're not, however, <laughs> built as ruggedly as the FMs I owned and own. As I said in the aforementioned new old FM video, those cameras were so bombproof that pros adopted them as backups for what was then Nikon's flagship camera, the F3, I think it was. In my case, the FM and later FM2 was my flagship. I never felt the need to spend more and I owned around half a dozen over a decade or so. Those cameras accompanied me on many expeditions that pushed the camera durability to the limit. But that was then. I'm guessing Nikon is already doing well with these uh, FMC ca F <laughs> FC cameras, I should say. However, it seems like they, at least the new retro lens, won't be available until after Christmas early 2023, January I think it is. The new Nikon ZFC Black Edition, that's completely black, paired with the Nikkor Z DX 16-50mm f 3.5-6.3 VR lens looks to be available to order at least in late November, exclusively through the Nikon store. What do I think? Well, my thoughts are based on the fact that I'm pretty much married to full frame, so I wish Nikon would add a full frame ZFC, a ZF, I guess that would be. It would make sense, wouldn't it? And I'll get into that in a minute. I know APS-C allows to build uh, smaller cameras, and I'm also not a fan of SD cards. Now we've moved to more robust XQD, and now CF Express, and juggling multiple batteries. And I should say that even though I was there as an owner of an original vintage camera and nostalgic enough to rebuy an original FM, I'm not necessarily attracted to retro for the sake of retro, especially when retro means form over function. But that lens. I was tempted by the original release because, as I said in a recent video, which one was that? <laughs> anyway, I said I like the 35mm view on full frame. 
And as I mentioned in that video, my initiation came with a 23mm lens on APS-C. So, 40mm is close on full frame, but it's a 60mm equivalent on APS-C. And that's not a focal length I've tried, to be honest, at least in a prime. And it's not one I'd rush out to buy for a full frame camera. So, there's my vote for a ZF. Build it as tough as its inspiration. Because going on Nikon's second quarter financial results for the year ending March 2023, they're up, due in no small part to sales of high-end cameras targeting pros and serious hobbyists. Makes sense, since amateurs have abandoned purpose-built cameras for phones in recent years. That's what's killed the point-and-shoot. And if you tuned into more than a few of my videos, you'll know I lean towards wider views. I love 20 to 24 millimeters. Then, since I bought the Z51.8, I've re-embraced that field of view after not having one of those for a while. My go-to for portrait is 105 millimeter from decades working with the venerable vintage Nikkor 105 2.5 on these cameras starting on these cameras, and then I kind of jumped to longer lenses, 200 and up. Of course, like a lot of people, these days I use zooms, and the 24 to 70 kind of covers the bases there. But this 40 has a lot going for it. It's a great lightweight option, inconspicuous, great for street shooting and travel. And f2 is still a decent wide aperture for low light and subject isolation. From what I've seen, the bokeh is pretty decent. So on something like my existing Z6s, for sure, this is a budget-friendly option. I'd love to hear from you if you have one of those lenses, or any of the non-S-line lenses. What's your impression? Are you attracted by the new retro edition? Compared to the as yet unavailable 35mm that we assume will be a 1.2 and likely top uh, 2500 US, or even the original Z35mm 1.8 which retails for 695.95 US. Here in Canada that's regularly $1100, though at the moment there's a $150 discount. Same for the original 40mm f2, $40 off, making it 360 Canadian. In the US, uh, I think you're saving about $20 right now, US of course. It's selling for $276.95 south of the border. So, when it's available, you'll pay a bit of a premium for the Retro Special Edition 40 at $306.95. I'll include some affiliate links in the description. But retro or modern design, I think you can look at these non-S lenses, something like those budget E-series Nikon lenses. They were, and still are, tremendous value for the money. And these modern counterparts are excellent with today's fast focusing, advanced coatings, etc. Last year, I actually compared the old F-mount 51.8E to the Z51.8 for video. Obviously, the old lens is manual focus, but for my money, and you can pick one up pretty cheaply, that vintage lens is a beauty. Take a look and see what you think. If you like this video, please give it the old thumbs up. It really helps us to grow. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Cheers, and we'll see you later.